in this video we will start which is a important topic of circular motion and a uh, conical pendulum uh, is a system in which a simple pendulum which is connected to a rope this is a simple pendulum it is connected to a rope and it is being rotated in uh, a horizontal circle you can see and it will form a virtual cone so it is uh, called as conical pendulum so uh, let's suppose that this is rotating with a angular velocity of omega and therefore a force of m r omega square will be acting in this direction this is m r omega square and this is the tension force so if this angle is theta then this angle is also theta and the component of tension will be t cos theta and this component will be t sin theta and we have to find out the time period of this conical pendulum now this t cos theta will be balancing mg and this t sin theta will be balancing m r omega square and also <coughs> if the length of the rope is given as h in fact l then h is equal to l cos theta and r is equal to l sin theta so this tan theta <coughs> or i can say that this t cos theta is equal to mg and t sin theta is equal to m r omega square if we substitute the value of r then t will be equal to m into the value of r is equal to l sin theta into omega square cancelling this sin theta so the tension will be equal to m l omega square this is the first most important conclusion of conical pendulum that the tension will be m l omega square where m will be the mass of the pendulum bob l will be the length of the rope with which it is tied and omega is the angular velocity for that horizontal circle now <clears throat> this uh, t cos theta the value of t is equal to ml omega square so t cos theta is also equal to mg so ml omega square cos theta is equal to mg and this l cos theta is equal to h and therefore m h omega square is equal to m g and this omega square is equal to g by h omega will be equal to root of g by h and this is 2 pi by t so t will be equal to 2 pi under root h by g so this is the time period of <coughs> this simple uh, this conical pendulum and this h is the height of this hinge point of the rope on the roof and the center of the horizontal circle about which this pendulum ball is rotating so uh, this time period only depends on uh, the distance with, vertical distance between hinge point on the roof and the center of the uh, horizontal circle so this is the time period of conical pendulum now in the next video we will uh, do the we will take the problems based on conical uh, pendulum thank you in this question you can see that there is a large mass m and there is a small ball of mass small m uh, they are connected with a rope this is a single rope the length of this rope is l this angle is theta and this rope is passing through this small cylinder and this is going like that so we need to find out <coughs> the time period of rotation in of this ball of mass m in the horizontal circle like that so let's suppose that it is rotating in this circle with a time period of omega with the uh, angular velocity of omega and we need to find out this angular velocity and let's suppose that the tension in the rope is t so as 
ड्यू टू द फैक्ट दैट दिस रोप इज़ अ सिंगल रोप एंड देर इज़ नो फ्रिक्शन इन एनी ऑफ द पार्ट ऑफ द रोप देर फॉर द टेंशन विल बी सेम एंड दिस टेंशन विल बी बैलेंसिंग दिस एम जी सो टी विल बी इक्वल टू एम जी एज वेल एज दिस टेंशन विल ऑल्सो बी इक्वल टू एम एल ओमेगा स्क्वायर दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड इन द फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ कॉनिकल पेंडुलम देर फोर ओमेगा स्क्वायर विल बी इक्वल टू एम जी अपॉन एम एल एंड ओमेगा विल बी इक्वल टू रूट ऑफ एम जी अपॉन एम एल दैट इज इक्वल टू टू पाई बाय टी एंड टी विल बी इक्वल टू टू पाई रूट ऑफ एम एल बाय एम जी सो द करेक्ट आंसर विल बी ऑप्शन नंबर डी नाउ वी मूव ऑन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन दिस क्वेश्चन देर इज अ बॉल ऑफ मास पॉइंट फाइव के जी इट इज अटैच टू दिस स्ट्रिंग एंड द मैक्सिमम टेंशन दैट स्ट्रिंग कैन बियर इज थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर न्यूटन्स द लेंथ ऑफ द स्ट्रिंग इज पॉइंट फाइव मीटर्स एंड दिस बॉल इज बींग रोटेटेड इन अ हॉरिजोंटल सर्कल लाइक दिस ओके सो वी हैव टू Uh, find out the maximum possible angular velocity of the ball so we know uh, that this tension t max is equal to 324 newtons and this tension is also equal to m omega square l so this 324 is equal to m which is half and omega square is omega square and l is equal to half so <coughs> this omega square will be equal to 324 into 4 and omega will be equal to root of 324 into 4 which will be equal to 36 so the maximum uh, angular velocity with which it can be rotated is uh, 36 radians per second thank you in this question there is a horizontal table you can see this is a horizontal table and on this table there is a small hole through which a rope is passing beyond the table uh, uh, beyond the table this rope is going at the down side of the table and over the table and there is a block of mass m1 which is connected to the rope which is on the table and this block is rotating in a horizontal circle on this frictionless table uh, and this length of the rope uh, is l1 the angular velocity of the rotation of this block is omega 1 and the mass of this block is m1 now uh, uh, below the table this rope is going through the hole and this rope is uh, being connected to a, another block of mass m2 which is uh, rotating in uh, a horizontal circle of uh, some radius and <clears throat> this angular velocity is also equal to omega 2 so uh, this is a single rope which is uh, going over uh, the table and uh, under the table its length is l2 so the total length of this rope is l1 plus l2 and we have to establish a relationship between omega 1 and omega 2 so first of all we know that the tension in this rope will be balancing m1 l1 omega 1 square and this tension will be same in the rope which is below the table so t1 t is equal to m1 l1 omega 1 square and the t will also be equal to m2 l2 omega 2 square so equating these two the m1 L one omega one square will be equal to m two L two omega two square. Therefore, omega one square by omega two square is equal to m two L two upon m one L one. So, if some relationship between masses and length is given, then we can find out the exact values of time pe time periods and omega. So, this is the correct relationship between. omega 1 and omega 2 thank you